Are you serious? Are you serious? The worst extreme straight line wind storms in a decade or longer has hit Australia. We know at least three people are dead, 200,000 homes without power in Australia as the storm rages on. Folks, I'm telling you, it's almost apocalyptic in nature. Certainly, it is creating havoc in down under in Australia. A powerful storm hitting Australia's New South Wales coast has killed these three people at least so far. And that's because it's hard to get the information, especially with all the down power lines and everything going on. The gust of wind averaging over 100 kilometers an hour, uh, over 30 centimeters of rain has fallen in some areas, many times more than usual, folks. I mean, way, way out of character. The average yearly amount of rain there is only 5.5 centimeters. They've had 30 centimeters. They've had six years worth of rain at once, and California doesn't can't get a drop of rain. Think about Bible prophecy. When God said, I will rain on some cities and not on two other cities, and people from those cities will try to travel to where the water is, and there still won't be enough. Now, this was prophesied to happen. Also, we know that Mike from around the world has been telling us for over a year and a half now that a stream Weather conditions would begin. Extreme straight line winds, torrential rains, chargeable particles in the atmosphere will create literally unbelievable thunderbolts. Sinkholes will continue to open uh, and the red dust will begin to settle. As these things are happening, watch for more vocal, you know, more volcanoes to start spewing ash and even dormant ones come back to life. These things are all happening, folks. And people on the ground have taken to social media and they're posting some of the damage of the storm, including sunken boats, floating houses, fallen trees. It's as if it's a cataclysmic. It's as if they're in the midst of the coming apocalypse. Are you serious? Are you serious? Pray for all of our good brothers and sisters in Christ and everybody down there in Australia. I've been to Australia. Oh, what a beautiful country, beautiful people. Pray for them in Jesus' name. Give your life to Christ, folks. We're running out of time, and I'm serious.